Yes, perfect. Leprechaun, go! <laughs> Boom! Dead. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the Wizard 101 playthrough series. This is episode 2, so if you haven't seen episode 1 yet, I'll put that up at the top corner somewhere, it'll appear, you'll see it. You'll know where to go. Click on that first, watch it, love it, and then come back to this video and watch this one. Today, we will be doing Triton Avenue, and apparently they have added a special pet mission before you go to the three avenues so we'll get to see that as well in this episode without further ado let's get started okay let's go we're off to talk to sergeant maldoon you guys might have noticed that our hat has changed and our wand has changed from last time i spent some time doing side quests in between this episode and the first episode and i got us a new wand and i earned us a new hat all right let's get started on the pet task Beware. beyond these gates the city's gone mad why you're the hero of unicorn way the headmaster sent you to help hey goodness <laughs> now what oh it's a pet it's kind of like a wizard's familiar they help out in all sorts of ways from discovery to dueling Personally, I hope that isn't the pet but we get. Be in that tower. That's the caretaker's tower. Nobody's been in there since old Judd, the keeper of the cemetery, passed. Oh, right. Undead. Wizard, go with the pet. Work together and find out what's happening in that tower. Interesting. Maybe we actually get a pet extremely early. You now have a pet egg in your inventory. Once it hatches, you can Dang, we Just get a pet? Yeah, we want to equip it. Oh, it's the... It's like that... The ice beetle, but it's... A life version. That's pretty sick. Alright, let's go in there and find out what we have to do. Oh, it's Penny Dreadful. She's one of the the old game uh, side quests. I guess they made her into a main quest. my plan to turn all pets into zombies. You'll see you will when it comes to pets. Sometimes I'm dead. If you have a pet equipped, it can help you in battle. Let's do this. This feels like another tutorial on how to battle with pets. Our new wand allows us to cast zero pip death wisp spells, which do 50 damage to our opponent. We'll use one of those now. Alright, I say we go the trusty two pip life spell. The leprechaun. Are you kidding me? That's our first fizzle of the entire game, guys. That's so unlucky. Try number two. Easy victory. Well, I know when I'm but I threw the key to my pet kennel into the kennel itself. I did. You can't get through those bars, no how. What? That's terrible. We have to get into that kennel. But how? Huh? Oh, I'm Penny Dreadful. I'm you here. When I saw this zombie guy stealing the pets, I tried to stop him and I guess I need more practice. You. <laughs> 
I guess I can. Your pet, allowing you to get to places and see things wizards can't. Use this ability to enter the next room. Wow, this is cool. We get to play as our pet now in like missions and stuff. That's kind of sick. There you go. Now that your pet has retrieved the key, you can unlock and enter the next room. Let's. Ah, these cells have combination locks, and only old Judd would know the code. I mean, maybe the captive pet saw him put in the correct combo, but I don't speak pet. Do you? I'm seriously asking. <laughs> maybe we can guess the combo. Let's see. Zero, 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 one. No, nope, not it. Zero, 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 two. Not here. Forget it. This is ridiculous. Our only sensible option is to find some way to talk to these captive pets and get the combat. Here's the real question. Why would it help to have our pet talk to those yep. pets? I saw that smelly guy put in the combo lots of times. It's zero, 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 three. But how is that helpful for us? We can't talk to those pets, so why can our pet talk to us? <laughs> You're welcome. It's kind of a loophole that doesn't make any sense. Don't worry. I'll make sure the pets get back to the pet pavilion in one piece. Check it out sometime to learn all about pet training. After they're safe, I'll go to the headmaster's office and complete my enrollment. Come find me when you get a chance. Right now, though, go tell the guard outside what's happened here. Will do. So basically, this mission was just so that we could get a pet. That's effectively it. I mean, it's kind of a fun excursion, but they could just give us a pet, and that might be better, honestly. You saved the pets and a young student? Not bad. But our work is just beginning, and I need all the help I can get. Alarming reports from Cyclops Lane and Triton Avenue, and I haven't heard anything out of Firecat Alley. So, where do you want to start? Oh, look! Our pet has leveled up the team. Yay! Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, we're going to start with Triton Avenue. Triton Avenue's been overrun by the undead. I don't have any guards left to try and deal with it either. You're not the first student to offer help. Two wizards named Griffin Bane went in a little while ago, and there was another named Grimwater. But none of them have come out, and I've got no word. Can you help me try to find them? Good luck, and above all, be careful. Aye, aye, Captain. So it's off to Triton Avenue. Her pet's name is Deputy Jackson. That's hilarious. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Archer Griffinbane. I'm lucky you came along. Something has broken the flow of storm magic through the street. Those towers should have arcs of lightning between them. This is bad. My sister Susie and I came to see if we could help get things back under control. But we got separated. The haunted minions drove me back. Can you create a diversion so I can try to break through? Attack the minions, and I'll meet you by the river. Okay, I'll help you. Now we can't join this battle. They're basically done. So we'll join this one instead. Double fire cat. I wonder if that guy is a fire wizard. One down, one to go. Holy crap, everybody played a fire cat. That's so funny. Alright, I say we just do it again. Pretty 
disappointed that that, uh, that, that didn't work. finish. Get the gold wisp. Yes, we got the gold. All right, now we have to defeat one more of these weird-looking guys. Shouldn't be too, too difficult. All right, fire cat time. Oh, that didn't kill him! That's so depressing. That means we, this battle is going to continue way longer. Alright, I'll take him out. You start attacking the other guy. Do max damage, do max damage, yes! Boom! That should end it. Now we have to go up the street and find Archer again. Here he is. Thanks for the help, wizard. I wouldn't have gotten here without you. I'm worried something terrible has happened. On my way here, I saw one of the lightning eels with Susie's wand in its jaws. Maybe she just dropped it, but maybe not. What can we do? I couldn't help but overhear. You're very loud. If you can bring me that wand, <laughs> I may be able to assist. Really? How? Duncan Grim... Grimwater. Duncan Grimwater, necromancer. I was drawn here by a massive surge of death magic. It must be the reason the undead have overrun the street. I wish Matt That would make a lot of sense. Here. He could stop all this madness instantly. Only he were still alive. Malastair is alive? <laughs> Impossible. I don't know what you saw, but you must be mistaken. Someone is trying to deceive you and Professor Ambrose. Malastair was a great man, the greatest necromancer of this age. Ambrose is responsible for what happened to him. If he hadn't... Can we talk about this later? My sister's lost out there. You're right. Wizard, bring me that wand, and I think I can get to the bottom of this. All right, we'll do the dirty work for you. The eels have electric magic, or storm magic, I mean, which will make them more difficult to defeat. Trusty Leprechaun, finish up the battle for us. <laughs> Bang! Finished. Wait, did that complete it already? No way. That was so fast. We only had to defeat one for that. All right, I'll see you guys back at Duncan. All right, let's figure this out. Susie is still alive. I can sense it from her wand. I think I can find her, but there's one more thing I need. I know a ritual that could grant me a vision of wherever Susie is. It's very advanced. I'm not surprised you don't know. The I'm also not a necromancer, dude. And her wand is one anchor for the ritual, but I need another. I think I know what will work. When I was trying to reach the source of the death magic, I ran afoul of the rotting fodder across the river. They're using storm magic. That seems make odd. Any sense. Why are they using storm magic instead of death? They were wearing strange amulets that were crackling with storm energy. Bring me those amulets and I can cast my spell. All right, I will. Oh, we leveled up. 
And it looks like we're going to get to meet our teacher for something. Hmm, I see you've been studying. Come see me for a new assignment. Anyway, interesting. All right, well, we're not going to go see our teacher yet. We have to go fight the rotting fodders first. And I'll see you guys over there. Alrighty, we've located the rotting fodders. But I can enter this one. That's supremely rude, mate. Boom, easy. Now we just have to take out the final guy and that'll be two rotting fodders for one battle. I think that guy's have, he's probably been pelted a lot this battle. That seems extremely unnecessary. Yes, we just collected so much of that. We have to get one more storm amulet. The Rotting Potter are similarly weak and remind me a lot of the uh, electric eels we were fighting earlier. So rude. Alright, if it's a hundred, we should probably use this. Please do maximum damage! No, it didn't. That's so annoying. Oh, but he skipped his turn, which means we're going to defeat him anyway. Boom. Dead. All right. Let's get back over to Duncan. I don't know where it's telling me to go, but I'm coming over here. Now, let's see what I can see. If I'm right, and I usually am, whoever's enchanted <laughs> the storm amulets also kidnapped Susie. They probably have Susie imprisoned close by. I can use the link between the wand and Susie to find her, and the link between the storm amulets and their maker to produce a vision. Here goes. Sounds Nothing. interesting. Whoever this is, they have some powerful magic. I think I could break through the interference with a charged Lumina crystal. They make Lumina crystals at the mill across the river. Go talk to Vlad Raven Eye and get us a crystal. All right, shouldn't be too complicated. All right, let's talk to this guy. Lumina crystal. You're out of luck. The undead stole all my crystals. Of course they did. I've got lots of raw crystal. I could grind you another one, but the mill's broken. Undead stole the wheel cogs and scattered them all over. But Makes even sense. if I could grind you a crystal, I couldn't charge it. My lightning rod won't work. A scarlet screamer stole the primary coil. That's annoying. Could help get me up and running again. Gather up the cogs and get my coil back from the Scarlet Screamers, and I'll get you a crystal. Very well. Oh, we leveled up again. Maybe we're going to get to learn a spell this time. Oh, goodness, you've gotten so much better. Come see me for a new spell. I was right. But we have other things to do right now. At the end of the episode, I will go finish the mission she wanted us to do, and I'll get us the new spell. Alright, now we just gotta defeat the Scarlet Screamers. Perfect, a battle where they're already doing that. Mm. 
lot of fizzling going on in this battle right now. We no longer have to attack that guy because he'll die on his own. Nice attack. The Scarlet Screamers have one of the most annoying attack sounds. I say we finish up this battle. Smart lad finishes off that one. Oh no! Please attack him, please attack him. Yes! Well done, and now. That one's gonna die on its own. Boom! Well done. We got a hat, but we already got a better one than that. All right, let's go. That was very, very successful. Splendid. Now, put those cogs to good use and get the old wheel turning. I'll fix the lightning rod. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, we're ready. Here, just pull this lever and we'll charge that Lumina crystal right up. I will. Ah, well done, wizard. All right, now we can finish Thanks Duncan's you, spell. In business. Here you are, one brand new, fully charged Lumina crystal. She's a beauty. I hope she serves you well. All right, let's get back over to Duncan and see what's what with this crystal. Illumina crystal. This should be just what we need. The Illumina crystal will boost the power of my ritual. It'll work this time. I'm sure of it. It's working. Nice. Susie, I can see her. But what was that horrifying thing with her? That's the Harvest Lord. We studied him in class. He's a powerful spirit from the underworld who harvests the souls of the innocent. That it is like terrifying. In Tower. That must be where the Harvest Lord is enchanting the storm amulets. Wizard, please free my sister. I will do that. All right, let's do this thing. Good luck with that, buddy. Here we go. Alright. It's probably best to take out the rotting fodder first. He 
he's more likely to have more powerful attacks because he's... Well, he's a little bit electrical. Please have a maximum attack. I don't... Yes, it's just gonna do it. Boom. One down, one to go. All right. What do we think? Either Fire Elf or Leprechaun. I think Fire Elf, even though he's a fire guy and he'll resist it, it'll at least do attack over time, which will be better for now. And we can continue to attack him while that's hurting him. We don't want to use the fire cap. We'll use this. Oh, he's using the fire elf spell on me, that evil man. All right, leprechaun. All right, we'll only need to hit him one more time to defeat him. Alright, let's heal this turn, and then next turn, next turn we'll defeat him, because we just don't have any cards that are going to hit hard enough right now. Ha! Yes, perfect, Leprechaun, go! Boom! Dead! Ha! Could be a problem. By the mill to reach the Tempest Nexus. I'll meet you up there. All right. You know, she sounds awfully happy for someone who should be worried. All right, here we go. It's worse than I thought. That's not surprising. This could explode at any moment. The controls, uh, they aren't working. I can't set it right. Professor Bellstrom knows more about storm magic than anyone. Go ask him for help. I'll try to keep the Nexus stable. Hurry! Oh, we finally got a new cloak. Let's put it on. Whew, that is a spicy looking cloak. Okay, we're going to put this mark location so that we can get back here really fast. And then we're going to go to the commons. So that we can talk to Professor Bellstrom. Hello, wizard! Oh, the Tempest Nexus is going to explode! Oh dear me, we can't have that! Here, take this master key, bring it against the metal of the Nexus three times, and the feedback loop should end! Good luck, and move quickly! Alright, let's get back there. You did it, wizard! Triton Avenue is saved! Haha! -ha. Archer anywhere, did you? He's all right? Thank goodness. 
Take me to him. It'll be good to see him again. As she runs off before we can take her anywhere? Makes a lot of sense to me. You rescued Susie! All's well. The Harvest Lord has been driven back into the shadows, and the storm energy is flowing again. There's still a lot of undead roaming around, but without the Harvest Lord to direct them, we can handle them. I'll help. So, the Harvest Lord said he had a dark master. Track that master down, wizard, so Malastare's memory can be redeemed. Maybe you should leave that for later. For now, tell Sergeant Muldoon that things are calming down. We will. Let's go. Triton Avenue's not going to explode. <laughs> well, I should hope not. Sounds like things are getting sorted out. What a relief. Thanks, wizard. <laughs> All right, now let's head back to Ravenwood and see what our teacher wanted. Welcome to the life school. Music is the language of life, young wizard. When we sing, our songs can take form. And with each new song, a spirit is born. Imps, pixies, Sprites, the fairy spirits, are the essence of music. When you are ready to begin, speak with the tree outside of my school. Her name is Blossom. All right, seems pretty simple. Oh, we should also get that new spell. Trade. Oh, that should be a quite helpful spell. We should also go over to the fire school and use... And use our training point to get the fire spell version of what we just got. Bingo! Alright, now it's off to talk to Blossom the Life Tree. The music of life surrounds us. Do you hear the wind in my branches? The laughter of my songbirds? Take one of my branches. We shall make your first instrument. You take a branch from Blossom and watch as it turns into a beautiful cherry wood flute. Now, go to the top of the rainbow bridge in the commons near the waterfall. Go there and play your flute. Hmm. I wonder what that'll mean. Like what the... This has to give us something extra something that we didn't have already. You play a few notes on your cherry wood flute. Greetings, little one. I am Lady Orion, Princess of the Seraphs. We are the guardians of life. We protect the song of the universe and seek out those who will help us keep our world alive. Lady Oriel teaches you the song of the unicorn. Use the song wisely, young life mage. We will meet again. Oh, nice! We got the unicorn spell from that. That means we'll be able to heal everyone in our party massively. Alright, everybody, that wraps up today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a like. And if you are enjoying any of my content, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button so that you don't miss out on any of my new videos coming out soon. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. This is Ethan, signing off. Later.